Hi second graders, Miss Diorio here from Citizenship Academy with lesson 12. For this one, you're gonna want a paper and something to write with because we're gonna be working with all of the strategies we've learned and kind of choosing the best one that works for you. It might be the best one based on the problem or it might be the one that you are most comfortable with. If you like the vertical method and you got that down pat, use the vertical method. But sometimes for different problems, it might be easier to use the arrow way. It might be easier to use mental math. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Before we start, though, let's practice using compensation using number bonds. So that's when we take one of the numbers and we try to get it to its next 10 or next 100. Okay, so let's do this first one together. And I'm going to have you work on your own. So 99 is close to its next 100. How many does it need to get to its next 100? Just one, right? So we're going to take that 1 out of the 61, and we get 60 and 1. Now, our next step is to write that new number sentence. So our new number sentence is 60 plus 100. A lot easier for our brains to figure out, and we get 160. Good. I'm going to have you do the next one on your own. First step, figure out which number is closer to its next 100. Next step, number bond, number sentence. So figure out which one's closer to its next 100, number bond, number sentence, solve. All right. Try this one. There's a number bond already under the 38, so you've got to get that 99 to its next 100. So pause and solve, and we'll come back and go over it. Good. So 99 needed 1. So we're going to take that 1 out and we get 1 and 37. Now when we do that, 99 plus 1 is 100 plus 37, 137. Good job. Let's do another one. All right, this one's a little bit different. You're still getting 98 to its next 100. So think about how many you need to do that and take that out of the 56. Pause and solve. You need two, right? So we're going to take the two out and we get 54. So we have 98 plus two is 100 plus 54, 154. Good job. Next one. Same idea. Get 98 to its next 100. Pause and solve. Good. We need two, right? So we're going to take the two out. We get 45 and two. 98 plus two is 100 plus our extra 45. 145. Awesome job. You're getting it. Keep going. 26 plus 98. Pause and solve. Got it? We need that 2 again, so it's going to be 24 and 2. And then we get 100 plus 24. Nice job. Now, I know sometimes we get confused with our numbers, so I just want to show you a trick that I use. So we know that this is going to be 100. So I like to circle it and then write that 100 down. Now, when I'm solving, I use this number already. I use this number already. Oops, I forgot to write my other number. I use that number already. I have one number left over, and that's going to be the number I add in. Okay? If it's easier for you to cross them off, cross off the numbers that you use so you don't get confused when you're writing your final number sentence. Okay? So that's how I solve it. All right, let's try another one. 54 plus 99. Go ahead and solve. You can use that crossing off strategy if that works for you. Good, so we're going to take one out. We get 53. 100, 99 plus 1 is 100, plus that extra 53, 153. A little bit trickier with this one. Same idea. Get 199 to its next 100. Pause and solve. Good, we're still taking one out. Still taking one out, that's fine. But instead of 100, we're at 200 plus 53, 253. Good, all right. I'm gonna skip this because I wanna get to our work for today. So like I said at the beginning, there are a ton of different strategies to solve these problems. Today is all about finding the best strategy for you or finding the best strategy for the problem. So let's look at this one. It says 374 plus 210. What you can do is use mental math. We know we can break apart 210 to 200 plus 10. 
right? Easy numbers for us to add. So we're going to add in that 200 first. 374 plus 200, just add another 200s to it, we get 574, right? Then we just get to add that 10 more. So 574 plus 10 gives us 584. Totally fine if that works for your brain. If you're like, Psh, I don't need to break the dot all down. I can do this. Totally fine with me. Another way to do it is to add vertically. This is when we break down our numbers and we add our ones, our tens, and our hundreds. So we line up our numbers. You've got to make sure they're lined up or it won't work out. Sometimes it's helpful if you want to draw it on a tens, hundreds, and ones chart so you know that you're adding the right way. That's totally fine. Add your ones, add your tens, add your hundreds. Do we get the same answer as doing it mental math? Absolutely. Either way works, right? Another way to do it is the arrow way. So when we do the arrow way, there's a couple different ways to do it, but we're breaking down the number and adding chunks at a time. So we're going to add that 200 first, right? just like we did in the mental math. We get 574, and then we still have the 10 more, 584. Same answer, just a different way. Which strategy do you like best? Pause and turn and talk to someone at home. Which strategy do you like best? Totally doesn't matter to me. Everybody's brain is different. Whatever strategy works for you is awesome. All right, let's do this next one. Same idea, we're gonna solve it a couple different ways. So we have 398 plus 142. Pause and turn and talk. What are some strategies that you could use to solve this problem? So talk to someone at home about a strategy that you could use to solve this problem. Good, there's a couple different ways. You can see two on the screen right now. We have the vertical way and the drawing way. So like we did in our in lesson 10, we can do both of these at the same time and it's a great way to check our work. So when we do this, we set up our drawing, one number, the other number, using our little dots in the hundreds, tens, and ones chart, and our place value chart. So we add our ones first. For this, we have eight ones plus two ones, and that's gonna get us 10. When we have 10, what do we do? We got a bundle and circle, right? So we're gonna bundle and circle and we're gonna move them over. Now, when we do that in our vertical method, what do we need to do? Yes, we gotta add that one over there so that we know we added another 10 into our vertical way. Now we can continue. So we have zero ones left over. They all got bundled, they all got moved over. We move that 10 over. Now we have nine, one, nine tens plus four tens plus one ten. How many tens is that? That is 14 tens, good. Is that more than 10 tens? Yes, right? So let's bundle those 10 tens and move it over. Same thing in the vertical method, we gotta move that one over. We have four, one, four tens left over. Now we can add our hundreds. We have three hundreds plus one hundred plus one hundred that we just moved over and we get five hundreds. So we got 540. One way to solve it. Let's try another way. We could do the arrow way. So looking at this problem, I see that 398 is two away from its next hundred. So I'm gonna add that two in first, get that to an easy 400. Now I still have 140 to add. So I'm gonna add that 100, get to 500, and then I have that 40, and I get to 540. Another way to solve it, same answer. You can also do the number bond strategy. I like this one a lot. Same thing, we know that we need two more to get to 400. So we're gonna take, oops, sorry, we're gonna take that two out. We have 140. So now we have 400 plus 140, 540, same answer. So no matter what strategy we use, we got the same answer. Which one did you like best out of those three options? Talk to someone at home and let them know which strategy did you like best. Totally good with me Which with whatever one you want to do. Everybody's brain is different. Everybody's math brain is different. Do what makes sense to you. 
For your exit ticket today, you're going to see four different strategies, okay? For each one of these problems, these are your example strategies. So we have the arrow way, the number one way, place value disks, or a place value drawing. You can also do the vertical way. For each of these problems, you're going to solve using one of the strategies, including the vertical way. And then you're going to tell me which way you did it. So if you solved this one using number bond way, write number bond way. If you solved this one using arrow way, use the arrow way. Tell me which strategy you used. Just curious. Just want to know. Have fun.